you've probably heard the story about the three Mormon missionaries in Colorado who seem to have desecrated a Roman Catholic shrine. Uh, erected by a parish of Roman Catholics, the shrine honors the Mexican martyrs, and forgive my ignorance, but I don't know who they are. Uh, nonetheless, it's a place where a lot of tourists go, a, a place of occasional worship where folks are allowed to come and go as they wish. Well, apparently two years ago, uh, three Mormon missionaries uh, went in there and one of them held up the head of a uh, statue which had been broken off and posed for a picture with it uh, for his friends. Another uh, got up at the uh, lectern in the front of the shrine and held up a copy of the Book of Mormon and it gestured like he was preaching so that his pal could take a, a photograph of him. And then uh, there's an altar there, and uh, one of the Mormon missionaries got up and laid down on it, and the other pretended like he was going to sacrifice him or something uh, so that their pal over there with the camera could get a picture. Well, that was two years ago. No one else was in the shrine. Uh, no harm, no foul. But uh, a week ago, those photos popped up on the Internet, one of these social networking places where you show each other your pictures. Well, that caused an awful lot of trouble. And uh, it, it has called for, well, the congregation who opened up the shrine, they have asked the sheriff's department there in Colorado to uh, uh, launch criminal charges against these three young Mormon missionaries. There have been apologies from Mormon officials, and there have been promises that church discipline uh, will be brought against these three young men. Well. I uh, am not exactly the smartest guy in the world on laws, but I can't think of any laws that this conduct violated. It certainly was inappropriate. It certainly wasn't courteous, but it was the sort of thing that young men who are 19 or 20 years old with their friends around and a camera handy uh, just might do. Uh, what should happen? Well, I think that these three young men should get together and call up the priest at the parish involved and ask if they might not be able to stop by and publicly apologize to the congregation. Uh, whether it's a Sunday Mass or uh, some other meeting through the week, uh, come there, say you're sorry, uh, say it won't happen again, and explain that you meant no disrespect, but there was just plain old tomfoolery. Well, I think that that would be the way to go. Uh, did they mean some terrible negative thing against this shrine or against Roman Catholics? I don't think so. And what was the situation here? Well, Mormon missionaries most often are 19, 20, and 21-year-old young men who, when they get their one day off a week, will go out and sometimes be silly. And this silliness very naturally offended uh, the earnest feelings of good and decent people. When you offend somebody, the way to go is to apologize. Should there be some kind of discipline against them? I can't really think of any, unless the whole thing was done on purpose to embarrass their own church or to specifically scapegoat Catholics. Uh, should there be criminal charges brought? I can't think of any that are fitting. Uh, these young men accidentally gave offense. When that happens, what you're supposed to do is apologize. And that's what they should do. Apologize to the congregation face-to-face.